I like this Tom, I'm going to show you how to edit the sustainable London map. We're looking at the map at the moment, uh, centred on City Hall in London. We can click on it and see what City Hall looks like. There it is. Now, before you get into editing it, particularly if you're not familiar with OpenStreetMap, do start by having a look at the Adding to the Map page. There's a page that introduces you to OpenStreetMap, which this is based on. It's worth reading that because it can be quite confusing. Uh, it takes you through some of the background. And there's also a page which takes you through more or less the contents of this video, but it's all written out with pictures, so you can go back to that if you are unsure what you're doing. So once you've read that, come back to the map and find the area where you want to add some feature. And there's a little link down here which says Edit. Now if you're zoomed right out, that won't do anything. It only works once you're zoomed into the top three levels, either here, here, or here. Okay, now let's say we want to add something to the area around City Hall. We click on Edit. The map editor will load up, and there we can see it. So the main area here, you've got the map itself being drawn underneath, slightly faded out, and on top you've got grey lines for all the different features, and ones we're interested in showing up as icons or as more bold coloured areas. On the left you have the part of the editor where you can see either things you're currently editing or things that you can add to the map. At the top there are various controls, for example you can change the background from, what at the moment we have the OpenStreetMap map, to Ordnance Survey, uh, sort of a free map that they released of the area, or area photography from Microsoft, which is quite good and we'll come back to in a little bit. So, uh, at the bottom right here you have tools such as you can delete things, you can cut lines in half, you can reverse the direction of one-way roads and so on. And we'll get all to those in time, good time as well. Now, in order to move around the map, you click in an empty space where you won't see a yellow line come up. Click, hold and just drag around. Every time you move it, it'll need to load the data for the new area you're looking at. You can zoom in and out with the zoom tools here. And if you want to select anything, then when the line goes yellow, you just click. Or if you're over an icon uh, such as this, just click on it. OK. So the first thing to do is let's just have another look at this solar panel on top of City Hall. So in the left panel there now, we can see all the, the properties. We can see the description. Uh, this is photovoltaic solar panels rather than solar panels for hot water. GLA operates it, we can see its rating and so on, and we could change any of those items and then save it. So how about adding something completely new? Let's say that there is a recycling bin in Potter's Field here. You go over to the recycling bin, drag it over, let go, and you're done. And you could add other things here, like it's operated by me, or more properly, most likely by the London Borough of Southwark. And that's it. If you select an item and you see down here it says simple and advanced, you can see now the raw OpenStreetMap tags, the keys and values. So it's amenity as recycling, and operator equals the number of Southwark. We can go back to simple. We could do the same at the solar panel. And now it's got quite a lot more information. Now you could go and type all this in manually, but you can see why this editor I've set up makes it easy for you to just go straight in and say this is a solar panel or this is a food market, or whatever it is. What about if you want to draw something like an allotment? So we're not interested in just knowing that there's an allotment just here, but we want to know its particular shape. In that case we need to start drawing it. Now often with things like allotments it's quite handy to use this aerial photography as I mentioned. So if we go and switch on the Bing aerial photography, give it a moment to load, the first thing you'll notice is a very annoying feature that it's all slightly offset. So these footpaths here are not quite where the photo overall photography is. So you have to sort of bear that in mind that it's a bit inaccurate. But there is an allotment just here. So what I sometimes do is I'm going to draw on top of this allotment and then move it into the right place. So to draw a shape, you just click your starting point and then just start clicking around. more or less draw the shape, and when you get to the end, a little circle, you click, and that means it's finished. You can click away, and 
go back to it. If you want to delete it, you could just do that. If you wanted to make it into a perfect circle, you can make it into a nice circle. Uh, undo that. You could also make it right angled if it were a building, for example. Um, and you could, well, all sorts of things you can do with those tools. Now we need to say it's an allotment, so we go over here and we click on the drop down. It's food and it's an allotment. And it's the. Ooh, can't spell City Hall allotment. Operated again by the guy to London. Authority, and that's it. Click away. Now it's showing up. If you ever wanted to change it, say we want to slightly shape, change the shape here, you hold down Shift and click. You can add a new dot. Delete if you want to get rid of that dot. And to move it, just dra drag it around. It's around about here. So let go. It's now moved. There's lots of other things you can do if you want to know how to use all the features then click on help and you can read through this and it will tell you various different shortcut things you can do as to how to connect and disconnect different features and so on. Once you're done you click on save at the top right. Now if you haven't already logged in and authorised with OpenStreetMap it will ask you as mentioned in the guidelines so do create an OpenStreetMap account when you first come here It'll ask you to go to the OpenStreetMap website and to say that you are authorised to edit. Once you've done that, you get to add in some comments. So I'm going to say adding full allotment and then save. Uploading changes. Da, 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 da. And then when that's done, that'll be added to OpenStreetMap. Now the Sustainable London map only comes around once an hour or so and updates, so it won't show up on that map for a while.